Pokemon is the biggest media franchise in the world, and it's kind of not even close. They got over $80 billion in merch sales with over a thousand Pokemon, showing off that they know more than anyone how to make the coolest, cutest, and most unique looking creatures ever sometimes. While I and others love these designs, there's no denying that there's quite a few flops. Some have really deep and interesting concepts behind them, and some are just birds. <laughs> Every three years, Game Freak makes a whole new wave of about a hundred new Pokemon and a couple games to show them off. But since it seems like they're getting worse at the game development side of things, I'll personally take over the next generation of Pokemon designs so they can fully focus on making a good game. But to make that a little easier, we gotta keep in mind one of the best aspects of Pokemon, evolutions. They're like a little family tree showing how they branch out into various forms, and the Pokedex gives you all that info in one convenient place. Just like how today's sponsor, MyHeritage, is the number one family history service to show you your family tree. MyHeritage gives you access to over 19 billion historical documents that piece together to help form everyone's ancestry. You get to see your personal family tree and it automatically makes instant discoveries to expand your roster further beyond what you might already know. Adding onto it is super easy and feels just as satisfying as filling out your Pokedex. I got too excited about it and forgot to record those discoveries on mine, but they added all these relatives pretty much instantly. And it doesn't just show names and faces, you get so many cool details to understand your family's real life life lore. Like check this out. My great great grandpa Henry Nelson was a or farm worker in Denmark with a killer mustache. I actually feel way more connected to him now after seeing his photos and checking out where he was at during his life. Here's him just chilling with his brother Augustinus. And after using the colorize tool, it just feels more real. They had lives just as full and deep as mine a hundred years earlier. I did the same thing to a picture of their dad, Joseph, who's got an equally stellar mustache. I simply wouldn't be here without this guy. And that's just so wild. They also do DNA tests to show what parts of the world are part of you. Really, this is just the best way to find out about your ancestors, therefore a bunch about yourself. So start building your family tree today. You can sign up for a 14 day free trial of my heritage at the link in the description. It's seriously really cool, so go check it out. Anyway, welcome back to Fix the World, where with your help, I fixed the entire planet one thing at a time. In this episode, I asked you guys for some new Pokemon ideas, and you delivered as always. Let's go. Now, before we start anything, I want to clarify our ground rules. These are the things I was looking out for in your guys' comments. To start, one of the best parts of Pokemon is the names. They're basically all just puns of two things that they combine to make the Pokemon and I love it. <laughs> then we want to get some interesting types going on. Here's a list of all the types that are currently in the games. It's not an essential point, but it would be fun to have some fun combos. And of course, the main factor, in my opinion, that makes a Pokemon good or not is how unique it is. Anyway, to start, we got a great suggestion, Stegospore. Obviously playing off of Stegosaurus and Spore, like mushrooms. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's just try to draw this out. For some of these, I might want to do some Photoshopping and make it a little realistic. Some of them, I'm I might try to draw out because that's more like the real Pokemon style. Maybe something like this. Oh, the tail's gonna be obvious. Have you ever seen this dinosaur with the thing on its tail? Ankylosaurus. I think we just get that tail sort of thing on the end, but obviously made out of mushrooms. As you can see, he's breathing spores out of his nose. I don't know, I'm just kind of going with the flow on this one, I'll be real. Gotta get the spots on the mushrooms. That's the telltale sign that they are mushrooms. At least as far as Nintendo's concerned. Obviously not the most involved. I might go a little harder on the next ones though. I'm thinking definitely poison. Maybe just dragon, that's kind of cool. Anyway, there you go, nice and easy. Next on the list, I'm totally not biased, but we got orange plus orangutan. Of course, being a play on the lyric in our song Monkey Noise, I actually had a really fun idea for this. I'll be right back. So, of course, orangutans are already really bulbous, okay. and there's nothing rounder than an orange. I'm thinking we take this orange, make some drawings on it so we can cut very specific lines so that it'll unfold all its limbs into an orangutan. Hear me out on this. I think this could be so awesome. Okay, I think this can work. Let's see. Don't try this at home and stuff. <laughs> Ready for the reveal? Orange into... I can't keep it unfolded, but check that out. That totally worked. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Bam. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I know a few other Pokemon have something like this, but not only does he have ape form, he has fruit form. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Let me crop my hand out real quick. Yes, sir. <laughs> Orangutangi. As for typing, um, of course we got grass. It's a plant fruit. Then we're also gonna give it rock type, being super defended in that orange state. Like nothing's getting through that. Come on. Ooh, it would be cool if you could see like his eyes from under his arm. The angle would have to change maybe, but that would that'd be cool. But his two different forms are gonna have two different types. So both will have grass, but the ape form will have water because he's revealing all his juices and stuff, you know? Oh man, this is awesome, man. I'm just too hyped. I don't know if anything can beat that, dude. That's too perfect. Cool. Next, we got sweet and sour. As Samuel says, the candy Pokemon. Now this makes me think of the sweet and sour candy, the Haribo twin snakes. And while I'd love to not totally rip them off, I think I'm gonna totally rip them off. This is what they look like. How do we do this as a Pokemon though? Oh, okay, I got an idea. Still ripping off Haribo, Haribo? How do you pronounce it? Haribo. Haribo, cool. Start like this with a gummy bear, <laughs> but intertwined with the gummy bear, we got a gummy snake. Check that out. Maybe the snake's kind of transparent so you can see both of their eyes at that same spot. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I, I kind of dig that. I don't like love that name. Sour bear, bear, snake, sweet and snake sweet bear. I, I feel like there's a pun there. I just, I don't know. We'll run with it. We're doing poison again for the sourness and maybe like fairy, like sweet and sad. Yeah, you get it. Fairy poison. Very cool. There you go. And I think last but not least for today from channel member Mickle the Pickle, we got a pickle Pokemon fittingly. I think I have a kind of fun idea for this. First, we grab, of course, a pickle. Then I kind of want to make a dog. <laughs> just hear me out for a sec. <laughs> I mean, use your imagination. He's obviously gonna be in a more consistent art style than like 100% realistic and Microsoft paint drawings. Pickles, where do they come from? Some people say cucumbers, some people say vinegar, some people think they're their own thing, but in reality, we all know they come from jars. So let's get a jar in here. So this jar is kind of like his home. It's almost like a hermit crab situation. But where do you keep the pickle jar? The fridge, obviously. And the fridge is cold. So imagine this jar is like made out of ice. I kind of want to get some liquid. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so typing is really easy for this, I think. You go grass, cause pickles. And while we could go poison with that whack looking pickle juice, I think we go ice based off the coldness of the fridge and the jar and everything. I better see some fan art of these guys. They're too perfect. <laughs> I feel like I gotta give him little pickle legs. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's he called? Dog pickle, pickle dog. A pun with pickle and dog. Wait. <laughs> That's a really goofy name. <laughs> banger after banger today. Look at that, man. Actually, wait, I got one more idea for a bonus Pokemon. In this video, I transferred my cat's consciousness into a Mario Kart toy. Long story, you gotta watch it. But anyway, let's just make him a Pokemon. Obviously gotta be electric and maybe normal type, honestly. He needs a name though. Car, 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 cat, car, cart, Mario Kart. Maybe we just do cart, but the R is lowercase, so you know that it's a pun. <laughs> anyway, I had a lot of fun with this one, guys. Then I don't know which of these two is my favorite, but here's me adding it to the globe. I think this is episode six and it's filling out pretty good already. And for next episode, let's fix some more album covers. I think that last episode turned out really well. Just tell me about some albums I should fix and how I should go about doing that. Or just comment whatever else you want me to fix in a future episode. I see those suggestions easier if you're a channel member. Thank you guys and my heritage for the support. Go to the link in the description for your 14 day free trial. It's easy, it's fun, I promise it's worth it and subscribe.